Hello everyone and welcome to another Toon Boom video. This time we're going to talk a little bit about creating the effect of glass. It's quite a simple one this, but there's a couple of ways of doing it, even on the easy side. Um, so I'm going to show you those, those different options you've got available to you. So let's dive straight in. So first things first, let me just pull in a photo background. So we've got something to work from. This is a photo from a a hot and sunny French island, which is definitely not hot and sunny in England right now, living vicariously through my photo album. Okay, so I'm just going to change the color of this color card as well to be black so we don't get confused. Cool. I'm going to show you what happens here. So this car, if it was moving around, you can see there's a slight transparency there on the window. How have I, how have I done that? Let's have a look at the drawing of the car body. Now the simplest method to do this I've popped the color on different layers, but I've just got these windows. I've used the stroke tool, or I drew it with a line and, and deleted the line after it was filled. And then the color tab itself for the car, you'll see that these window one, two, and three swatches, if I double click them, the alpha is moved down. So if I move this one up, you can see that top one going from totally invisible to, to filled in. So it's opaque. So I've got that at 99. And that is really the easiest way to do it. It's, it's nice and simple. It's just operating via the color palette and it makes life very easy. So what's the other option available to you? Well, the other option you could do is you could add um, a node that makes it transparent. I don't want to save my work, thank you very much. So I'm gonna go for transparency. I'm holding down the Alt or the Option key and then letting go of the click and then the uh, the function key to pop that in here. I'm going to make this wheel 50% transparent. So now it doesn't look any different, but then if I click off it, there we go. Now you can see the slight difference there. Even if I turn on the render mode, you can see an even bigger difference. The main thing is this transparency node will take these vector lines and where they overlap, it will kind of like work out, okay, this is kind of creating more of a, a transparency and only in the render preview, you will actually see the full effect. So that's kind of a downside to that one. The other option is you can go into, and this is the third option, you can go into the actual settings. So that's the same as right clicking on the layer itself. If I right click on where it says wheel two, go to layer properties or shift E, you can go to the advanced tab and you can lower the opacity in here. So I'm going to say 30, click close. So it's the same effect as the transparency node, but it's just on an individual layer. The main thing, I guess, which you would want to use the transparency node for is if you wanted to apply it to multiple things at once. So say we wanted the whole car to be transparent rather than go through each of these individual drawing elements, we'd maybe just add one under there and it would apply it to everything. Okay, so there's a couple of options available to you. They're all producing the same effect when rendered out. But um, personally, I would say the window method I've got there is nice and simple. It's going to keep things simple, but it's not always the way you want to work. You don't always want to be going into your palettes and editing colors. Um, if you are in a production and animation studio, changing the palette is kind of a no-no because uh, it's linked to the character and if somebody reuses it, it can affect other things. Heaven forbid, if you've got a centralized palette system, people are gonna get mad at you. So sometimes you have to pop a node into the scene, like that transparency one, and alter it on an individual basis. So go forth and create lots of cool glass effects in Tomb Boom, glass ice sculptures or whatever else you can think of. Yeah, have fun with it. It's nice and simple, and there's three options available to you as I've showed you there. So um, yeah, hope it's useful.